I'm not surprised. It's such an old game. There's probably like some compatibility layer that's required just like to make this game run. Um, is there, is there a, oh wait, I got to change my stream info for the game name. Um, okay. Yumaniki. People who are seasoned with either Yumaniki or old RPG Maker, is there a function key that allows me to um, double the window size? I remember there being a way, but I don't want to like hit random function keys to figure. Oh, video options. Oh, I may have figured it out. Hold on. Zoom is already X2, so let's try X4. Okay, there we go. Now I just have to resize this window. It's because the window was like very small on my screen, so that should be better. And. The pixel scaling should look a little bit better on stream as well, actually. Let's play. Uh, I haven't played the Kingdom Hearts series myself. I didn't grow up with um, PS2. I don't remember which door has the bike, but I'm probably going to like not use it for a while anyway. I haven't played the game enough to like have the locations of stuff memorized and so I'm not going to be like, you know, beelining to get to all the cool stuff. I'm just going to be wandering a little bit, but that's how I would prefer to play the game anyway. Fake human Nikki fan. <laughs> I mean, you know, I played through the game once around like 2013. Um, I, f you know, got full completion. I poured a lot of hours into it, getting like as much as I can, and then there were like, you know, just a couple effects I was still missing, so um, I looked at how to get them with a guide and experienced full completion and liked the game a lot. And then I played a lot of um, a lot of Yumaniki fan games as well, or I dabbled with them. I got an umbrella. But yeah, it wasn't the type of fan where I would like replay the game a million times and like, I don't know. I'm 
like learn and experience every tiny detail. I did have a very memorable experience with the game though. Hello, useless noob. Um, so, Natsuki's name pronunciation, it, it's, it's the same as, like, this happens all the time between Japanese and English, where, um, most, most three-syllable English words, um, we're putting emphasis on the second syllable, but in Japanese, you more often put emphasis on the first syllable. And so this happens all the time, you know? It happens with Naruto, you know, like people say Naruto. It happens with Madoka Magica, people say Madoka. And it's like, you don't want to, like, like, um, what's the best way to put it? It's not like we are, um, like putting in maximum effort to preserve the Japanese pronunciation of these words. Like we are using English phonemes based on the, like, you know, Romanized spelling of the word. And so it's like, you know, you kind of don't want to insist on one being objectively correct, I think. Um... What is the key to... There it is. <laughs> it's like it, like if you're holding... If you have an effect or you're holding something, then you can like do something with one of the keys. Like the umbrella you can twirl. Let's go in here. And let me put the umbrella away because it doesn't need to be raining right now. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those people who emphasize the first syllable. So I say Natsuki, and I say Naruto, and I say Madoka. I uh, know I've played Yume Nikki before, but I haven't, like, I played through it fully, but I haven't revisited it a million times and, like, played it super exhaustively. And so, you know, I've seen most of what there is to see, but I cannot, um, I don't have the map layout memorized. If you put enough hours into any game, you'll memorize it. Is that where it came out of? Did it just loop around? I feel like I must have missed something, but... Who knows? Let's walk... Oh, here we go. Hello, friend. Yeah, I've played Dot Flow. I haven't like I haven't gotten all the way through it though. Hello, Donic Volp. I exclusively play as Link in Melee.
My favorite Smash game is Ultimate, but I've put the most time into Melee. Hello, cake sheep. Am I looping again? I've been reading chat and not looking at my background <laughs> to figure out if I'm looping. I'm pretty sure I'm looping. I'm looping. Don't mess with me. That one looks different. Oh, it looked at me when I went through the when I went through the doorway. Pineda, thanks for stopping by and thanks for enjoying DDLC. Okay, do I go in here? Do I go in here? Assuming this is something I can go. Oh, I went in anyway. Oh, what on earth? Okay, I guess we're going in here. Does this take me back? To yeah, that takes me back to the same area. Sounds good, Adriana. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, it is a game worth experiencing. It's like there's there's like no point in keeping track of where you're going and where you came from in this game because there's like like you're never really going to hit a dead end or you will sometimes but like I've experienced so many times where it's like there's multiple ways to go and I want to like remember how to get back and try something different but then it just like keeps going there's, it's like impossible to track where you're actually going. Oh, this area is pretty closed off, actually. So this may, in fact, be a dead end. Okay. That's not cool. Okay. They gave me a traffic light. Thanks.
I'm a traffic light now. I wonder if this loops me again. It seems like it might. I'm gonna try going through like one loop, see if it loops me again, and if it does, then I might have to wake up because I think my options have been exhausted. Thank you, me chimp. Pretty sure I have to wake up. Um, my neck is facing the wrong way. I'm pretty sure it's a rare event as well. That's so weird. Can you not can you not save your game when your neck is like this? No, my arrow key controls are the same. Thank you, Gazix. I appreciate it. All right, we're going back to bed. I'm gonna let chat pick the door. So how many doors are there? I think there's like 12 doors, right? So everyone pick a number from 1 to 12 and I'll go through that door. I'm seeing more sevens than anything else. Door seven it is. I'll get the bike after next time I wake up. Yes, I've played Yume Nikki fan games a long time ago. This room has pretty loud music. <laughs> Hello, Kami. Yeah, I haven't played Yume Nikki Dream Diary yet. Even though it's been out for such a long time. I heard it got kind of mixed reviews, though. Oh, hello. Do 
blonde. Okay. Activate Moogie mode. Oh, I can sit down when I have blonde hair. Unless you can do that anyway, I'm not sure, but I don't think you can. This is the door I came from. But there has to be more, like... This wouldn't be a dead-end area, there's definitely, like, another area I can go to from here. I didn't see this before. Oh yeah, I like the snow world too. It's our friend again. Yeah, a lot of rooms loop like this. Not all of them do, but a lot of them do. So it can be like, if you want to... You know, if you want to discover every detail of a room, then oftentimes you have to like, you know walk a screen in one direction and then turn perpendicular until you loop. But I'm surprised I haven't found, like, you know, another door or something like that. Thank you, Q Gaketsu. I don't have a favorite cupcake flavor. Oh, I found something. Left or right? Yeah, next time next time I wake up, I'm going to start looking for the bike. Everyone saying left. Hello, Defender of Hyrule. Thanks for sharing your experience. I also really like the song Hug Energy. There's something in the sewer. Oh, hello. I'll take off my blonde for the time being. Oh yeah, you can sit down without any effects as well. another one.
I'm very fond of horror, but I have a difficult time with it. And I'm also like pretty particular about it as well. So I really admire and respect like certain games in the horror genre when they have like unsettling elements to them. But I wouldn't generalize the genre as a whole as like one of my favorite genres. Okay. Okay, cool. Now I don't have a face. Oh, that's cool too. I don't have a neck either. Akiha plundered my neck, I guess. I think my favorite 3D Mario game is Galaxy 2. I like Odyssey a lot as well. But... I remember Galaxy 2 feeling pretty special for me to go through. I'm gonna get my face back. Okay, now we gotta look in all the holes. What is that guy? I wanna go over to him. I want to see if I can go up this way first. Ah, uh, I can't. Okay. Answers that. This game does not have puzzles, really. There, there are some things where like you can use a certain effect in a certain area to make something happen, but the game like doesn't have puzzles. Like the game doesn't have much of what you would describe as gameplay. <laughs> But that's like equally part of what stood out to me about it as an experience. Hello. Oh, that took me somewhere. Okay, what? Thanks for the sub, Lord Orpheo. Using the word exploration, like, like, doesn't perfectly hit the mark in this game because, like, the game forces you to do more, like, aimlessly wandering <laughs> than actual exploring, you know? Um, and so you could, like, kind of talk about. The advantages and disadvantages of that from like a quote gameplay perspective because once you've seen 
you know, I would say more than half of the game, then you're going to start seeing, like, you have to wander around the same areas over and over that you've already seen in order to, like, try to look for new stuff to see. But, like, that somehow is just, like, a part of the overall experience. Oh, we're in one of these sewer rooms again. There's more pictures. This is a different one, though. Yeah, sometimes you do a little backtracking. Um, but there are more, like, there are more loops and places where you can't backtrack than there are dead ends. So it's almost impossible to keep track of, like, the places that you kind of pass and want to go to because you pick a different path and then that's going to keep on taking you on additional paths until, like, you just can't really get back to where you were. Oh, look, it took me out here. All right, Donegal, thanks for stopping by. All right, we're going in here again. Let's find something else to do in this room. Um, okay. Um, if my memory serves me, if my memory serves me correctly, I think there is one, one of those guys takes you to a new effect, but you kind of just have to keep guessing or like takes you to a new area or something. Yeah, I haven't backed out and gone to any other door. Um, but, like, they're all kind of interconnected anyway. Oh, look. I got a hat and scarf. Like, I think there's a door that might take you directly to this area. Could be misremembering, though. Now I'm better prepared for the snow world, I guess. Um, some of the items, like, are usable in some way. Sometimes it has, like, a general use, and then other times it's like if you use the right one in a specific area, then you can make something happen. Okay, do I want to go in there, or do I want to risk talking to this guy and being teleported again? I'm going to talk to this guy. Oh, same area. Maybe that's where I came out of, actually. I have not played LSG Dream Emulator. Let's use the restroom. You never know, like, you look at that and you think that it might take you to someplace no new. <laughs> but it's like, no, she just, like, literally uses it for what it is. Oh, I can't even go back through there. Hello, Exlagia. I haven't played Sub 0.9 either.
One of the effects I have has an interaction with the scarf person. It's not the hat and scarf, is it? I may have already done that. Yeah, I guess I don't really mind hints like that. I also don't really want to, like, ask for them, though. Like, I've played through the game before, but there's just a lot of stuff I don't remember. But I was... I knew that I was missing some kind of detail in here, so... If that's what it was, then... Or maybe there's more than one thing in here. I just, I remember that there was something that could happen out of interacting with the scarf person. But my memory was hazy. I thought there were like multiple scarf people you had to find and it was a random chance of something happening with the right one. Uh, yeah, I played through Outlawney in college actually. That's the door back to the, the hub world. I gotta find the scarf person again. I think they were around here last time I saw them, but who knows, they could have wandered off to somewhere else. Oh, there you are. Um, okay. Hey, look at that. I don't think I've seen that before. Let's talk to you. I can't. I've never seen that. Neat. You're never going to learn everything there is in this game. Unless you just peruse the wiki <laughs> and read the entire wiki, then I guess you can learn everything that's in this game. But, you know. Put on my hat and scarf again. I could have sworn, though, that there was, like, a chance for... Oh, yeah, there we go. I was teleported somewhere else this time. Let's go in here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm familiar with Afraid of Monsters too, but I haven't played that one. I played Out Oni when I was... I think interested in, like, finding more... Like, weird games with some similarity to Yumaniki. But I didn't like it as much. No, there's like virtually no chance that there is anything remaining in this game. It's so easy to data mine RPG Maker games. Especially ones this old. Oh, thank you, Lord Orpheo. I'm sure there's some grinding required in order to get that platinum trophy. This is one of the more famous scenes in the game. Where are we? Traffic light.
How weird is that? I just received word that the Omocat DDLC Plus collection is live. How exciting. Here's the link. In fact, I wonder if we can look through some of this together. It sounds fun. Let's see if I can, like, temporarily capture the browser window. gonna be hard to gotta like form fit the window size to the stream <clears throat> Boop. good enough nice I'll oh, get back to chat how exciting oh and look at this I was gonna share this earlier but I'm wearing, wearing one of the new shirts. I was gonna like give a sneak preview, but I like forgot to show it off. But here it is. It's like the choice of shirt color is really amazing for this design in the color scheme. It's so good. I love it. Um, and what you'll discover is. Every shirt is based on a side story. How neat is that? Look at that. So we have trust. We have understanding. <laughs> Let me see. And I like this color quite a bit for it, too. That's cute. And look, don't those... Um, the way the characters are drawn, doesn't that remind you a little bit of Amori? What else? Okay. Respect. Let me see. I wish I could like zoom in a little bit more on the design itself. Maybe I can. Hmm. No, the page is like too responsive and they disabled right clicking on their website so I can't easily um, open the image in a new tab. But there's like a lot of cute details on this one. Let me just make it bigger like that. Yeah, I don't feel like doing the element inspector. Yeah, I think that one's super cute. Let me, hold on, gotta resize the window again. Okay, let's see. And that one also comes in black. Neat. I like how the colors look on black as well. I 
What's next? Next is balance. I always like seeing like the photo shoots too. <laughs> this one also comes in black. Okay. Then after balance is reflection. This one also has a dark variant. I like the white version of this better, but like it's it's neat how different it looks when the outlines are white on a black shirt, you know? It's like like it gives the it gives the design a totally different feel, don't you think? That's neat. And of course we have self-love, the one I chose to wear today. It's so good. And then this one has a dark variety as well. And so seeing seeing like the pastel colors on the dark one, like it almost makes it look neon. I'm into it. Oh hey glitch cat, good to see you. Thanks, I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I don't have all the designs yet, actually. We just, I think we, like, received a few samples ahead of time. So I have, like, a couple, but. And there's stickers, too. Look at that. Yeah, I have to say, like, the upper left one and the lower left one and the lower right one, I love as stickers. <laughs> That's so good. Awesome. Yeah, how exciting. Um... Like as far as t-shirts go, um, like the, the quality of Omo cats are just absolutely incredible. Like the design and, and the print and the fabric and all that, it's like all of my highest quality t-shirts are Omo cat shirts and it's such a pleasure to work with them. Like it always feels like we have a lot of in common. They do so much amazing stuff. So, really glad I had the opportunity to share that. Good timing. With that, uh, we will get back to the game.
Oh, I missed a prime sub from a while ago. Sorry about that. A A Tiff the Meme One. Thanks for the prime sub. 18 minutes ago. <laughs> That's where I came out of up there, right? Next for the sub, JC Stewart. And thank you for the prime sub, Ben Albert Mahoney. Ben Albert. That's what I meant. <laughs> right, thank you, Mythos, for sticking around. And I will see you again soon. did this. I remember there being some kind of way to access like kind of a sub area within this area. But I don't remember how it might have to do with like going through that circular one. Maybe counterclockwise instead of clockwise, I don't know. Oh, I haven't played Telltale Walking Dead. Yeah, the voices of the DDLC characters, like, it's ambiguous on purpose because they don't have voices. It's like everyone kind of in their own head is going to you know, have their own way of how they imagine them sounding. But yeah, there's no official answer. Is this where I came out of, or was it that other weird mouth? Oh, it must have been this. Thanks for the 21 months, Griseller. And no, I haven't tried Madfather. I'm not familiar with it. I want to find that um, circular road again. Or, you know, maybe I should follow this wall and see if I can get into there. Or maybe did I come out of there already at some point? I don't remember. Oh, we're going in. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's a little anticlimactic. But I thought I came at it. Okay, here's this thing again. So. I, I'm not positive, but I think I remember the area change. Like, you can do something in this area that causes it to change. Yeah, I think it might be that. Maybe not. Because I remember seeing that from before.
Oh, was it that doorway that leads to the girl? I thought that was the same, regardless of like which direction you enter it in. Or maybe you have to... I don't remember. Maybe if you can get past her, it does something different. Well, there's plenty more to explore, so I'm going to wake up here. I'm going to grab the bike to go a little bit faster. Then we'll continue exploring. Yeah, Yami Kawaii is something I'm, like, vaguely familiar with. Was it this door? No. Now you get, like, a sneak peek of some of the different doors because I'm going to look for the one that has the bike. No, I already went in that one. I took a break from streaming for a bit, but I typically stream every Wednesday and Friday in the afternoon. It's a snow area. Got to come back there later. Here we are. Ashley is one of my top Nintendo characters as well. But she's also kind of like an intelligent systems character. Now we're moving. Oh look, it's another restroom. It's it's the women's restroom. Can't go in, maybe it's because I'm on my bike. That breaks the immersion. I always bike straight into bathroom stalls. Gazix, thanks. I'll see you around. There's got to be something else in here. Oh, what's this? Ding. I doubt Monica has like nearly enough dialogue to make that accurate of a chatbot. Okay. You can bike down escalators, that's good to know. Look at that walk animation. 
<laughs> I love that. Oh, yeah. They're feeling it. They're feeling it too. Look at that neck. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll set them up with Aki, huh? I feel like I should be polite and get off my bicycle in here. Change menu type. Huh? Whoa. Oh, what are those little symbols at the bottom? So is that one, and then there's the eye. So is it just those two? That's so weird. <laughs> like such like a strange thing to find at some random part of the game, you know what I mean? Whoa, excuse you, cover your mouth. In these times? Let's jam. Now where you are a subway performer. Thanks for the prime sub, Flame Salvo. It's kind of unpleasant. Oh, they won't stop. I can't get them to stop. Concerning. I'm just going to leave you be. And now it's raining inside the subway because I had my umbrella out. There's no difference between correlation and causation.
these animations on these people is just like too good. I can't get enough of it. I already saw this dude. Oh yeah. It's still raining. There we go. Figured it out. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Thank you for Frog. I am one with nature. Where are we going? I want to find that thing. This is impossible. How are you ever supposed to exhaust everything in this area? Oh, I did it. I, I can't even talk to you. They look kind of like a traffic light. It didn't work. Maybe they're only into blonde girls. Nah. I don't know. Maybe they're just chilling. I would love to do more Amiga Roulette. I just haven't in a while because it's like really difficult to set up the stream. <laughs> There's a lot of technical stuff that goes into it. And then I took a break from streaming for a while. Um, but since I'm streaming a little bit more regularly again, um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to do it again soon. Uh, C64 radio is offline because my C64 is kind of in need of repairs. It's a little bit complicated. I think, long story short, if I can get some, if I can get like a PAL video chip, then I'll be in much better shape. But they're a little bit harder to find in North America. Hello, Pablo the Weeb Lord, and thank you. Oh, where are we going? Nowhere, apparently.
My goodness. It's gonna start making everyone dizzy if I keep doing this. Any tips on getting into Linux as a beginner? Um, uh, it's a little bit vague because it kind of depends on like, you know, what is your goal? Do you want to learn about it? Do you want to like hope to switch to it as your primary operating system? Um, oh, thanks for the five months lack wheel. You know, like if you're asking, oh, this is a different guy. Still can't interact with them though. My favorite YouTubers are all like technology and retro PC YouTubers. <laughs> It's blue. I don't want to get sand in my shoes. Oh. Now I'm 8 bit. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with that, God King Prime. This game is on Steam. It's the most accessible way to play it. I remember it being pretty difficult to find this area, so I'm glad that I did. Um, Linux is really accessible to try out. Um, I think that... Like, the, mo the most accessible Linux distributions, if you're trying it for the first time, is probably going to be... Um, I'm thinking Ubuntu, or Pop OS, or Linux Mint. Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, but some people prefer it. So I think, like, you know, and the idea is that Linux is infinitely <laughs> customizable. You can, like, take any distribution and do literally whatever you want with it. But as a starting point, without having to worry too much about that, I would recommend, like, seeing if you can find some, I don't know, YouTube videos about those distributions. Recent YouTube videos. Like, try to find ones that are, like, this year because, you know, they get updated pretty frequently. Um on Ubuntu and Linux Mint and Pop! OS and just like, you know, maybe pick which one that you, you like the out-of-the-box look and feel of in order for you to explore it. And then you can pretty much just like put it on a USB stick and boot from it and mess around with it. Like you don't even have to install it to your, you know, into your SSD or hard drive if you don't want to. You could just run it right off of a USB stick. Yeah, or you can mess with it in a virtual machine, but I'd probably recommend USB booting if you want, like, 
Um, the optimal experience. It's dark in here. I know there are some items that you can get that light up the area. I'm not sure if I have any of those though. Look, even the menu is different. Like, I, I don't think this one would work. No. Well, maybe I'll see how far I can get in the darkness. Like, I can still see, it's just a little inconvenient. Yeah, El Patron, I plan on picking up my regular stream schedule again, which is Wednesdays and Fridays. Thank you for joining Eliza's Plaza, and I'll see you around. Have a good night. Does it even matter if these are down staircases or up staircases? <laughs> oh, it's bright again. Is this just a dead end? Is there nothing here? We go. Let's see, I think I saw another staircase to take. Maybe not. Maybe it was on this floor. Is that the one I came out of? Or was this the one I came out of? I don't know. I don't even know if I've ever been here. Maybe I have. like the outskirts of this white area. Oh, let's try going in here. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't want to come back here. I should have explored that area more. Let's wake up and find some place else to explore. And I'll probably play this for another 20 minutes or so. And then we're going to move on to Riven. And I'll probably play that for an hour and then maybe call it. Guess I'll save my game just in case. Haven't even done that yet.
Thanks for joining the Kate Sith. Hope to see you around for future streams. I think every time you go to sleep, there are like maybe three of those beds, and one, and every time like a random one takes you to a new area. And I think that's the only way to get here. But I don't remember where to go or what to do from here, so I guess we're just gonna explore as normal. Okay, I guess I ruined it. <laughs> I've already been here. I haven't really been noticed in public, I don't think. But... You know, I'm not like a content creator or something, most people don't know what I look like. And... I prefer that. I don't know if I'd be able to handle the anxiety of like knowing that I was someone who was recognizable in public. In a sense, I like feel bad for people who are. Okay, let's explore some igloos. Um, no, I don't plan on like picking up competitive smash again. I just play for fun nowadays. This person is sleeping. Maybe it's like Pokemon. Nope. Now, it wouldn't give me anxiety when it happens. What I mean is that, like, it would it would be anxiety-inducing um, if I knew that I was recognizable. If I knew that I was recognizable, and I had to worry about it. This person looks friendly. I can't interact with them. I think that's one of the ones where, like, if you're aggressive towards it, then it turns evil and starts to chase you. Thank you, Luxbuster. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 bits as well. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I know where this is. I can feel the Yumaniki fans getting hype. Ooh, a balloon. Oop. That doesn't help. Okay, so the bike still is faster in the water, slightly. Hey, good call. Thanks for the tip. Okay. 
Hello, Amy Pink Gamer. I haven't been to Australia. But if there was like a, I don't know, a convention there or something that I wanted to go to, then it'd be worth checking out. And I know some people in Australia as well. I know a handful of, like, Australian streamers, and they always put Aussie in their stream title. <laughs> and I always find that amusing. Oh, that's pretty cool, Keiko to be. I'm glad to hear that. It's another balloon. Okay. Nothing around there. I guess we're going inside the cones. Let the games begin. Yeah, this light switch has a 1 in 64 chance of triggering an event, and since we're here, we're gonna grind it until we get it. Why put the bicycle on? You mean to like do it faster? I feel more comfortable off the bicycle for this. It's fast enough without. What Photoshop filter? That would be find edges. Cat and thank you. And and thank you, Monica Limited as well. This is the DDLC Plus Grinding for Full Completion Simulator. You can see on this girl's face that she is tired of being the number one tourist attraction for Yumaniki players.
Yeah, you're right, it is the other way around. Yeah, I wish I could have given all the, like, the pre-patch secret poem grinders, like, a special badge or something. <laughs> but then people would just get salty for it being, like, n no longer possible to get after the patch, and that would be weird. But I commend everybody who went through that. I usually stream Yoshi Story speedruns, competitive melee, and sometimes retro computer stuff. Like things that are within the realm of my personal interests. I put down School Idol Festival a while ago. I never really stopped liking the game, but you know that happens sometimes. But I'm kind of sad because I was like grinding. I was grinding Nico Pudi Master on thumbs and I was really close but like like full combo without any um without any perf lock and I was close but I never got there I'm kind of sad that I didn't I didn't take any classes about writing, but I like had, you know, I got a little bit of writing practice before, before writing DDLC through like other projects and stuff like that. But I think like taking classes and reading books and stuff like that can provide some amazing insight as well. Yeah, this shouldn't take all that long. It's a 1 in 64 chance, so, you know. Like, it's fairly unlikely to go like 100 times and still not get it.
It is more than immediately obvious when you get it, don't worry. But... I can't not get it. They must have patched it. Hello, Nicky Bugs. And you, Nicky players, are like gonna see the thumbnail <laughs> of the area that I'm in. They're gonna like pop in the stream and wait for it to happen. The reason this is so fascinating is, like, you can imagine in, I don't know, 2004 or whenever this game came out that, like, people didn't know about this or the chance of it happening, and so you just, you know, one out of every 64 people who got to this area, like, experienced something really bizarre. And people are, and it's like pre-social media, so people are in, like, internet forums and stuff, like, sharing their discoveries about the game. Um... And understanding that that was kind of the culture surrounding it is like really fascinating, you know? And that's part of the reason that it was inspiring to me. Aside from the aesthetic of the game itself, it's like the idea that everyone who plays the game has sort of like a unique personal experience because everyone is discovering different things. Like the game is slightly different for everyone. I like that. I'm getting pretty unlucky. <laughs> it's been a lot of attempts. I know, if I gave up on this, more people would be upset than relieved, so we're not giving up. No, if you used a macro then <laughs> like to do this, then it would happen and then your character would just like walk out the door and you'd miss it. <laughs> Thank you, Sony Ayori. Is like handmade by a plush designer who had booths at like some Smash tournaments. My friend bought it for me.
Okay, frog works in here too. We did it. I can't go back though. It's always worth it. Okay. Doing that. We're gonna switch games. I just have to get it for a second. I'll be right back. And then we're gonna play Riven. And stick around for that because Riven is, I would still consider it to be my all-time favorite video game. And as I show you around it, and I'll try to explain why. And I hope that it will be enlightening. Yeah, I'll be right back. We're back. All right, Defender, thanks for sticking around. I respect your desire to keep Mist and Ribbon spoiler free. I'll have to see you around. I already played Melee earlier, actually. Uh, my chair is a steel case leap. Okay. Shoutouts to ScumVM for making this game playable on modern hardware because it wasn't too long ago that the only real way to play this game without it constantly crashing was to like play in a Windows 98 virtual machine. <laughs> Uh, 
That put me in full screen, so I gotta get out of full screen real quick. I can't see. Well, let's try some. There we go. Windowed mode. Make the window slightly larger. And. Okay. And now we can capture the game. Nice. Um, let me try to like adjust the window size so that it's not cut off. I think that's better. <laughs> 